Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. Today we'll be looking at the deck by subscriber MF Sandwich Time Pollock. So the deck revolves around necromantic thirst and uh, unblockable creatures to keep on bringing creatures back and creatures such as uh, ah, I forgot the name it's a 3-1 black creature okay anyways we'll get to it uh, sorry so we don't have enough hands let's draw a new hand okay yeah flashback marauder that's a creature so let's draw a new hand unfortunately let's keep this so yeah, the deck itself here, guys, revolves around creatures such as Flashback Marauder and uh, Benthilic Infiltrator or other unblockable uh, triggers to get Necromantic Thirst and uh, keep on drawing Flashback Marauder back or some other creatures back and just, you know, dwind uh, dwindling opponent's board. And by the way, guys, if you want to see your deck, you know, if you want me to try your deck, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Okay, so let's play first uh, Evolving Wild here. Let's continue. We'll swing in the pawn's face here. There we go. So if you guys want me to try it, let me know. I'll be happy to do it for you. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to be uh, playing five games in one episode for the deck that you recommend me. And then afterwards, what I'll try to do is I'll try to pick the cards, which were like the main cards, around which your deck revolves and uh, I'll try to substitute my own strategy there and see uh, how that works out just because well I'd like to give it a shot too anyways uh, let's put the swamp out here we'll be able to play swift wing and swing for two damage next turn or maybe I'll just keep the fairy back and uh, block here okay so let's play Azorius Guildgate let's play the swift wing We'll swing an opponent's face for one only. And I'm going to keep the fairy back in order to kill the child of night. Because the way I'm thinking, there's no point to swing for two in opponent's face if he's going to gain the two back, anyways. At least this way I'll be able to kill it. And then uh, no more life gain for him. Okay. And let's hope we draw into one more island. Having Necromantic Thirst ready to go would be really nice. Okay. And if I had to guess, I think it's a, a white black life gain deck, maybe. Or maybe an allies deck now. I can't guess really. Well, this becomes a two, uh, 3 2. And unfortunately, I will not be blocking it with a fairy. So we'll just let it through. That's okay. Keep blocking and move on. Okay, so opponent gains three life, it's okay. I'll try to kill it next turn. There we go. Okay. Ooh, we drew into an infiltrator. That is very nice. So let's play an island. Let's uh, first swing here. We'll swing for two in opponent's face. Yep, there we go. And then I'll use infiltrator to block. There we are. Come on. I Hopefully, sandwich time, I do justice to your deck. We'll see how it ends up being. Uh, and also, let me see who is a opponent. Our opponent is level 2, Taurus991. Well, that's just game 1 out of the 5 games. So, uh, hopefully, in other 4 games, we'll get much more powerful opponents to play against. But even now, hopefully, it will be a good showcase of the deck. see what happens hmm. I gotta say I like this music in magic this is my most favorite background music oh yeah and by the way guys yesterday I went to a collision center for cars oh boy okay um, I think if I block our opponent has this uh, flare thing or whatever that yep Tells you Celestial Flare, yep, so Sacrifice, Infiltrator, I just knew it, I knew it, but at the same time I was kind of hoping maybe he'd be bluffing, but I guess he isn't, so that's fine, we took the damage, I'll keep the Fairy up next, next time, 
Ah, jeez. Okay, so yeah, guys, yesterday I went to Collision Center. It is the most horrid place I've ever seen in my life. The guy that was there, he was literally a drug addict. And, oh god, I really wish I never have to visit places like that ever in my whole life. Anyways, uh, let me see. I can play a Swift Wing here, which I will. And, uh, well, we'll wait and see what we do after that. It's unfortunate that we can't do Necromatic Thirst just yet, but let's skip the attack and let's wait. Yeah, it's just one Infiltrator, so this turn if our opponent swings, I'll block uh, with the Wing, his Mirror, and Child of Night with this, and I'll let this throw most likely. Let's see what he chooses to do. Okay. So opponent's turn, he's thinking probably what you do here, what you swing with, what not you swing with. I really hope we draw into this one more land, that's all we need really. One more swamp, that is. And then we can use Necromantic Thirst here. Okay, so he swings with this. I will be blocking with the wing here. Okay. There we go, and this will give our opponent a choice of who he wants to kill, really. Or he can just have the damage straight to our face. Well, okay, he's going to kill the wing, that is fine. That is just fine. Okay, then. Oh boy. Okay, so we know what we're doing. One Splinter's Fairy, kill. Let's see what we're drawing to. Ooh, this is nice. But we have to use bone splinters because the damage we'll be taking is too much. So destroy the juggernaut, block this. There we go. Okay. I think this turn, if our opponent does swing, I will end up taking the damage. Well, I'll kill the child of night just because we have the wyver now. So I think I can kill the child of night. So I'll trade the Child of Night, and then I'll play the Wyvern afterwards. And I'll hope that we draw into a Swamp, so we can play the Thirst. Okay, so opponent swings just with one. Ooh. Okay, I'm not blocking that, letting that through. Just two damage, we drop down to 13, it's still okay. There we are. Okay, he has four cards there. I don't think he has any responses. But we'll see. Oh, wow. Intimidate. So one thing's for certain, this is the only creature that can block this. Okay, we have the River Marshal, we have the Wyvern. Uh, no point in playing the River Marshal, really. Let's play the Wyvern first. This is going to become a 2-3 here. There we are. So it will easily be able to kill this. And well, we'll just exchange, of course. So let's keep the attack and continue. Oh, never mind, this has first strike, so actually what will end up happening here? Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. So yeah, I'll definitely exchange. Next turn, I'll play River Marshal if we join, don't draw into swamps. Really need those swamps. Uh, let's see. If we draw into swamps, then I instantly play Necromantic Thirst with the Wyvern, and I'm going to get the Fairy out, and... Maybe actually wink and then the fairy out. Okay, so let's see what the opponent does. He can't really do anything here. I've got a first strike, a 2-3. Pretty much response for anything he chooses to do. Excellent. Okay, so far so good. Hmm, bone splinters. Not quite yet. Let's play the river marshal. There we are, and let's continue. If worse comes to worst, I can always use, you know, Bond Splinter to sacrifice the River Marshal. But I hope that it doesn't come to that. Let's see. By the way, I accidentally just hit the microphone, so hopefully you guys didn't hear like a loud noise. 
Oh yeah, and also, no, just to finish the story, because it doesn't seem like opponents doing much. So yesterday I went to a collision center, I had to fill out some paperwork, and the problem was that it says take a ticket and wait, so I took a ticket, and as soon as it came my turn, I approached the person sitting at the desk, and I could tell that person was waiting to go on their break, but the problem was the person was having a severe withdrawal from some kind of a drug. He was very, very twitchy. He kept on accidentally kicking the table. I gave him my driver's license. He stared at it for like good seven minutes or so, and he had no idea what the hell he was doing. And the most surprising thing is that um, that center, so it's police working there and also a private company. So that guy was working for the private company. And I'm thinking, there's policemen right behind me. Can't they see that the, that kid is behaving like, you know, he's about to murder someone? It was horrible. Anyway, so he finally fills out papers extremely slowly. He kept on asking me a thousand times over what happened and everything because he kept on forgetting it. Then afterwards, it seems like he went to his break. So I start talking to a police officer to fill out the rest of the work. And once he comes off of his break, he seems really, really happy. But that, at that point, I saw that his pupils were dilated like crazy. Ah, it was just such a horrid experience. I really hope I never have to go through anything like that ever again. Okay, so Sigil of Valor. I'll just play it out. And well, let's wait. Let's just wait. Oh jeez, I shouldn't have played Sigil of Valor here actually guys. Uh, I could have used the River Marshal to tap down his mirror. But now he'll be able to attack with this. If he does attack of course I'm going to... I'll actually block with the Swiftwing. And he won't be able to block this, you know, kill the Swiftwing here. Okay, I just wonder what he's waiting for. Well, if I block with the swift wing, the marshal still dies here. Well, let's see what he does. Okay. Also, guys, to anyone who is watching these videos, thank you so much for watching them. And also, thank you so much, Sandwich Time, for leaving me the comment and asking me to do this deck. Uh, I gotta say, this is quite a fun and great deck. Okay, so opponent swings. This is... Well, we can kill someone with 3 health here, so... We can kill this here. No, never mind. We can kill this guy, that will be a fair exchange though, no. I'm killing this. I'm killing this. And... Oh boy, I don't want to attack with this, because whatever I do, he'll be able to ping it for... Okay, not attacking with this. Okay guys, so... No, I'll let the damage through, so this is what I think I will do. I'll kill this, and I'll do the rest of the damage to kill the Child of Night, so he stops doing the life gain stuff. Okay, I think that's fair. So we'll be taking 4 damage here. Okay, that's the first strike damage. Okay, and this is the remainder. There we go. Okay, we got out of it, relatively unscathed, and our opponent's down just to three creatures here. Uh, Nightwing can always take care of this if it comes to that. Ah, oh, jeez, he has damage effects turned on. That's what I hate. Okay, we're down to nine health, another accursed spirit, that's fine. We can always take care of it easily. Okay, bone splinters. Just don't need more bone splinters, they're so useless. Okay, let's uh, equip this on to... Well, it doesn't matter who we equip it on, let's just do so. Okay. And let's just continue. Really need to draw into something here, absolutely anything would be fine. Okay. And let's see what the opponent does. If we draw into a swamp, I'm instantly attaching into the Thunderclap Wyvern and swinging right away. Angelic Edict on a Thunderclap Wyvern. Ooh! Well, it has a first strike after all, so makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And let's see what the opponent does. 
swings with all. So I think I'll most likely be blocking Child of Night here. There we go. Let's confirm the block. And we're taking who? Five damage. That's rough. Okay. So going down to four health here. And if we don't draw into a creature here, we're in big trouble. Really big trouble. Come on, damage effects, jeez. Okay, four health left. Well, we drew into a plane, so we're screwed, guys. Okay, well, anyways, guys, this has been game number one. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in game number two. And we're back for game number two. Sorry, unfortunately, game number one didn't go so well. We didn't draw into the land that we wanted, therefore we couldn't use Necromantic Thirst. It was going pretty well, but opponent eventually overpowered us there. Especially with that angelic edict. Okay, so big panda. Level 3. Let's see. Oh, jeez, way too many lands here. Way too many. Let's draw a new hand. Okay, not as many. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, let's see. So let's start with Cesarius Gilgate. Quickly go into Swamp, into the Swiftwing. And then afterwards play. Well, just planes and islands, and then get to the Thunderclap Wyvern. If our opponent plays something scary, we always have the Flashback Marauder. Okay, and nice, we even have Whirler Rogue, so our opponent's in extra trouble here. So Swamp into Garumag. There we are, and let's just swing into for one to opponent's face. There we go. I gotta say guys, I, well, especially to you, uh, Sandwich Time, I love Swiftwing, it's a quite good card there, especially for this deck. Okay, so next up, I'm thinking of playing the planes, and, uh, well, afterwards I'll play an island, I think I'll play the Whirler Rogue then. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense to me, so, let's just do this, there's no point for playing this, okay, let's continue, let's just swing for one more. There we are. Okay, afterwards I'm playing the island and definitely playing the Whirler Rock. And I'll follow that up with Thunderclap Wyvern and end up swinging for a total of 6 damage into our opponent's face here. Should be quite fun. What's an image of this thing, anyways? That's quite disgusting. Okay, so. Thessian's Thief. Or just. what? How do you say it? Chaisian Thief. Okay then. Anyways, we'll just let our opponent swing. Oh, double Thunderclap Wyvern. That is just beautiful. That is so, so beautiful. Okay, let's see now. Uh, opponent probably has a lot of spells there, so just continue. Swing for one into opponent's face. Do I want to swing for one? Yeah. If our opponent swings at us, I'll let it through, and then if he deals combat damage to us, I'll let him draw a card. It's not a big deal for me here. There we are, and let's continue. But next turn, getting a Thunderclap Iron, and these creatures get pumped up. That's when things become very fun and very beautiful. So Skyline Cascade. Ooh, he's going to tap it down. Well, that's fine. That's fine. If he swings, I've got a blocker anyways for the Whirler Rogue. There we are. Okay, now we draw into more islands. So first I'll play the planes and let's play the Thunderclap Wyvern. Now these beauties become 2-2. Two -two. Let's move on and let's swing for 4. There we go. Oh, this is going to be an easy game. Our opponent's just level 3 though, unfortunately, but it's okay. So there we are. Next turn, another island, and then Thunderclap Wyvern, and then all of them become big. That's when things will be fun. Wait, what I've got? Yeah, I can't play Flashback Marauder just yet, so... Well, our opponent wants us to sacrifice something. Of course I'm sacrificing the... Of course I'm sacrificing the Thopter. No, I'm sacrificing the Whirler Rock, just because Thopters become 3-3. Mortuary Mire is going to get the Flashback Marauder back. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so Thunderclap Wyvern again. And swing for everything. So let's play the Demir Gilgate. Let's play the Thunderclap Wyvern. Everyone gets pumped up. And this is 12 damage. 
one damage short of killing our opponent outright. Just one measly damage, but it's okay, we'll get there. Seems like this is a very fast game. There we go, our opponent's down to one health and he might as well just quit or sacrifice a founder of the cut. Well, even if he does that, that's not going to save him. Okay, he wants us to sacrifice, Doctor goes out the window. There we go. Okay, Mortuary Mire once again. Wow, a really, really interesting deck, I gotta say. Okay, anyways, that's not going to save our opponent, really. So, let's see. He might as well quit. I don't know why he's stalling for time now. Happens once in a while. There we go. Wow, this was a quick game number two. Um, let's play an island. Flashback Marauder, just for shits and giggles. Get him to kill this. So yeah, there we go. And let's just swing for another... Whoa. 12 damage. There we are. Okay guys, this has been a very short game number two. Didn't throw off the deck as well, but it works very well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in game number three. And we're back for game number three. Well, sandwich time, uh, game number two didn't show off the main strategy of your deck, however, it did work out pretty well, I gotta say, really, really well. And well, the strength of the deck, I'd say, has to do with how many different strategies you can execute, except your main one. So I gotta say, so far the deck was good. Okay, so three lands, oh, this is beautiful, let's keep the hand. We have enough mana for the Necromantic Thirst when it comes to it, we have the Infiltrator, and our opponent's level 11, Yusha Us. Okay, so I think I'll play the Demir Gilgate, follow up with Swamp, get the Swiftwing out as soon as possible, then Azurius Gilgate into Infiltrator. And then uh, if we draw into one more land, I'll play out the Whirler Rogue. We always have the Sigil of Valor, of course. And this is an interesting deck, Telling Time. I think it's an artifact deck, if I'm not mistaken. An aggressive artifact deck, probably. Let's see. There we are. Okay. So, yep. Swamp into the wing. Into the swing. Excellent. Okay. So, now we just gotta see, I think there will be a lot of Thopters in this deck, which is good because Swiftwing will be able to take care of it pretty easily with the first strike there. And this is the first time I realized that Swiftwing he is carrying a snake, I always thought that he's just on a branch. Wow. Okay, and, and we got the Thief. Hmm, very similar to game number two, gotta say, but completely different level of an opponent here. Holy crap, so many swift wings. Okay, then let's play the swift wing again. And let's wing for one. I just don't want to give my opponent here advantage of the draw here. So if he does play a spell, of course, I'll have not, you know, I won't be able to do anything and I'll just have to let it through. But if he doesn't, then swift wing would be pretty good. Well, let's see what happens. He might play another living spires, you never know. We'll see. Okay, Skyline Cascade. So he's going to be permanently tapping this down for one more turn. It's okay. Wow. Okay, now things get a little bit more interesting. We've got a first strike uh, renowned creature. I think Infiltrator will be able to take care of it pretty well. Ooh, I like this Glacial Fortress. So, well, can't play the Whirler Rogue just yet. Next turn, definitely playing Whirler Rogue here. There we go. We've got the Infiltrator. Let's skip the attack and move on. Okay, no. Here's the thing, guys. Um, if opponent swings, do I want to double block the Sergeant? Oh no, everyone. Well, it's just everyone gets hit. Sorry, that's not so bad. He swings. I will be double blocking this guy. And, well, n not double blocking really, but I'll just let the 3 damage through, most likely. Yep, I'll have to do that, unfortunately. We're taking 3 damage here. Which is fine. That's uh, fine. 
Okay, now Whirler Rock comes out. Ooh, I can do Fairy, Swift Wing. Now let's just do Whirler Rock here first. Might as well start getting some creatures sent to the graveyard. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Skip attack and continue. Let's see what response our opponent has to this. Definitely will be taking care of his sergeant if he swings once again. And uh, I gotta say, maybe this an ally deck? Not sure. Ooh, Hellkite. Scary stuff there. Very scary stuff. So I think I will want to keep... No, I actually got flyers, so I don't want to keep anything back in case of emergencies. But then the problem is the Hellkite. He can start pinging away my creatures. If... Oh, that's rough. Okay, anyways, let's play the Swiftwing. Let's play the Fairy. There we are. And let's play the Sigil of Valor. Now, we've got enough creatures here that if I start swinging with an Infiltrator, that will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage, 8 damage. So, we 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, 8 damage. So, next turn, our opponent will be taking 8 damage to the face, going down to 10. Unless if he, well, he'll probably play out the land and pick out one of my Thopters here. Never mind, it's a telling time. Hmm, 2, 4. Well, still not enough to kill the Infiltrator. So I think he drew a land here for sure. Coastal Disc... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is terrifying! So he's going to be playing... Oh, just drawing two cards, sorry. I thought that was the card which says uh, take an extra turn after this one. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. So definitely Sigil of Valor and start pinging opponent for 8 damage. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait till our opponent's turn is over. I don't know what he's thinking here for, really. I think he's choosing whether he wants to attack or not. Yep, I think that's what's happening right now. You know what though, guys, uh, I'm thinking of not swinging with the Infiltrator here. I might just attach a Sigil of Valor to uh, Swiftwing, swing, and see if our opponent wants to take 8 damage to the face, or if he wants to uh, block with the Hellkite. I think that's a better choice to give our opponent rather than just go out decimating him, right? But let's see what he chooses after all. Okay, well, opponent's turn is almost over, so I think he's just being bad mannered at this point. Pretty sure that he is. Come on. Okay, well, yeah, that's just bad manners right here, guys. So, turn expires. There we go. We draw into Evolving Wilds, which I'll put out. Now let's do Equip. Uh, we will equip it on a Swiftwing. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I mean, why not? So, okay. Uh, that's a land I'd like to use, yep. I will put Necromantic Thirst most likely on an Infiltrator here. That Do I want to do this yet? No, none of the creatures are dead really, so I don't think I do. I just revealed your opponent that I have Necromantic Thirst, but I don't really care here. So let's confirm the attack. This gets pumped up like crazy. 8 9. And the opponent chooses to take the damage to the face. Well, I guess he does. So next turn, actually, I'm going to attach it to Whirler Rock. And that means Whirler Rock is going to become a uh, 9 9. Yeah, that would be good. So we'll see if our opponent will choose to take 9 damage to their face. I'm sure that won't be as pleasant. Come on, ah oh, jeez. Yeah, there you go, bye. guys, um, it happens. I sometimes don't record these games, but, uh, well, 
some especially today by the way guys uh, just so you know i'm recording this on sunday instead of a monday i usually tend to record the magic games two days prior to the release just because i recorded today tomorrow i'm going to let's attach it here so yeah i'll usually the way it works guys is i will play it today I'm after when I play today tomorrow I'll transcode it and start uploading it and then a day later you will see it. So yes, today's Sunday and this game is going to come out on Tuesday. Okay, let's see what the opponent does. Ah jeez, I think he just left. He stepped away from the keyboard here guys. Let's see. Oh jeez. Okay guys, I will be cutting these unless okay, so I'll be right back. Uh, till our opponent sent. Be right back. And we're back for game number four. So far this deck is doing pretty well I gotta say, but um I think it's lacking general aggression, or maybe I'm the one who's actually sucking at the aggression here. I don't know. We'll see how this game goes. Hopefully we win. Davai, Davai. Okay. By the way guys, so I understand Russian, however I'm not I'm not Russian, but I do understand Russian. Wait up. Uh, let me see. Definitely want to keep this hand here. Decent lands. So, yeah. On Russian, Davai means... It means, come on, come on. So, that's... Well, once, come on. So, anyways, we're up against a guy named Kawai, uh, Come on, come on, level 8. And he just left, so... Now we're up against the computer, unfortunately. Nothing Russian about him anymore. Okay, let's play the Drowned Catacombs. Okay, definitely playing Fairy Miscreant, following that up with the planes, getting maybe Siege of Valor out. Attaching Nimbus Wings on Fairy Miscreant doesn't seem like a smart choice. And we're up against the Neltrazi deck, very interesting, so let's do this. <laughs> maybe I will end up attaching Nimbus Wings on the Fairy Miscreant. I just, I might have to just to get rid of the Mist Intruder here. He will be attacking, of course, and unfortunately I'll let it through. Let's keep blocking and continue. Or, never mind, I can play planes with the Flashback Marauder, get this kid killed, and then I can attach Nimbus Wings on the Flashback Marauder. That would be much nicer choice. Okay, and we lost the Whirler Rogue, unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, anyways, let's play the planes. Let's play the Flashback. There we go. Let's choose a creature to sacrifice, which is the fairy. There we are. Okay. Definitely playing Gimbus Swings on this flashback here. Hmm. And we have a second flashback to take care of this if it comes to that. Another fairy. Nice. But, well, we can do both. We can do Nimbus Swings on this. And we can do the fairy miscreant. There we are. Oh, nice. A 4 3 flashback marauder flyer. It's just ridiculous imagining this type of horrid creature flying in the air. And I'm not attacking, just so I have a response for it. Really wish I had the uh, Whirler Rogue. I think we have enough mana for the Whirler Rogue too, but it's okay. We'll get that, I think. Um, reprisal. I'm not going to do that anything. We can play another flashback marauder, get rid of the fairy miscreant. There we go. Hilarious. And now let's swing for four. We will have two horrifying flying flashback marauders. It's just funny. Okay, there we are. If our well our opponent is minus screwed here, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he was minus screwed, that's why we're winning. Well, let's see how it ends up. Nimbus wings, flashback. Just put out Siege of Valor here. And let's just wait. Okay, here we are. 8 damage, our opponent goes down to 8. And I think next turn he's just dead. Don't think opponent will end up having anything. And I do apologize, guys. Uh, my phone just, you know, pinged. And I think that record got recorded. Anyway, so, yeah, we won, guys. A very short game. There we are. 
Okay, so we have one. That's game number four, and I'll see you guys in final game number five. Be right back. And we're back for the final game of this uh, subscriber deck. By the way, uh, sorry if the games might not be quite as entertaining. Today's Sunday, and right now there is going on an event which is the double coins for every victory, level three captain. And uh, what's happening right now, the servers are heavily overloaded and it's very difficult to get into games. And I like what I see here. Let's keep the hand. Let's do Evolving Wilds. Okay, let's move on. So into the swamp, probably get the swift wing out, let's go. I think I'll get two swamps, so on our opponent's turn I'm definitely playing out the swamp here. There we go. The reason for getting two swamps is, uh, well, we need it for necromantic thirst, the two black mana. And uh, I think we've been burned about it in previous games, so might as well make sure this, this doesn't happen anymore. There we go, let's play the swift wing. I know if I got an uh, island here guys, I could have uh, made this into a 3-2, but uh, I'd rather have necromantic thirst out and wait for an island, rather than get it, get an island and not be able to play necromantic thirst. Okay, here we go. So next turn, I can play Heliod's Pilgrim and get the necromantic thirst at long, long last. Oh wow, Swiftwing versus a Swiftwing, okay, so definitely playing, uh... oh, okay, he just swings, so maybe I, well, I think Necromantic Thirst can wait, I'll play another Swiftwing and swing for two into your opponent's face, and hey, we drew into Necromantic Thirst, we drew into that stuff here, so that's fine, there we are. Let's just swing. Excellent. Okay, let's see what our opponent plays. I don't think it's worth using one splinters for the swift wing just yet. Let's move on. And let's hope we draw into something really nice. I think it's gonna be a fun game here. God, this picture is terrifying. Okay. An island. And wow, what? Battle gnomes? Oh my god. Okay, a uh, weird combination, but that's fine. I'm not gonna judge. Okay. Another planes. No. We can play... Dauntless River Marshal. Do we want to? Yeah, let's just play Dauntless River Marshal. I mean, why not? There we are. Um, well, opponent can read it all he wants, really. Okay, and let's play Bond Splinters, Splinter this, kill this, and swing for two. Eh, let's do that. Bond Splinters, I want to destroy this, kill this, and next turn I'll use Necromantic Thirst and bring them back, so that's fine. I just thought I'd, you know, kill one of the opponent's creatures, be a little bit aggressive here, and at the same time try to do stuff. So there we go. So next turn definitely attaching the Necromantic Thirst to one of the Swift Wings, and if our opponent doesn't play Flyer here, then it means we can bring back the Dauntless River Marshal. However, if he does play a Flyer, well, let's see. I don't want to think about him playing a Flyer for now. Okay, he's using Telling Time, that's good. Maybe he's digging for a Swift Wing or a Flyer, maybe. Definitely want to get the river marshal back, would be fun. Actually what I could have done here guys, ah, uh, that was, oh I'm so stupid. I should have played Heliod's Pilgrim, got an enhancement, ah oh, jeez, yeah I should have played Heliod's Pilgrim, got an enhancement, then use Bone Splinters, kill the creature, kill Heliod's Pilgrim, and then use Necromantic Thirst to bring him back, thus uh, allowing us to get more and more enhancements. But I guess that's not happening now, is it? Okay. Ooh, double heal is pilgrim. So necromantic thirst, here we go. Let's swing for two. There is the swing. Excellent. 
Excellent. Let's get him back. Yes. Fun, fun, fun. Hopefully I join you one more land next turn so then I can play Heliots Pilgrim and Dauntless River Marshal. If it doesn't happen, well, I'm playing Heliots Pilgrim for sure. And definitely not going to be blocking the mirror no matter what. Oh, he's going to get the swift lane back. Well, he can't play it this turn just yet, which is okay. There it is. If I get an enhancement though, he leads Pilgrim. I wonder if I... Okay, I'll just let this through. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to be doing here, guys. So, I'll play he leads Pilgrim. Bone Splinters. Oh, this is dying. And then he's pinging this for 2 damage. Yep. That's okay. We have he leads Pilgrim here. So, let's see what we draw. That's not a land, unfortunately really need some blue mana here but anyway so this is what I'm doing so heal its pilgrim uh, yes I want to get necromantic thirst out I'm playing then another heal its pilgrim and I'm going to get nimbus wings out and then I will attach both nimbus wings and necromantic thirst and once I do so this will allow me to have this as a really large creature and I'll swing and hopefully he doesn't have any more bone splinters and by doing so I'll be able to get our creatures back I think that's a decent play here jeez I don't like the mirror so our opponent swings swings and swings most likely will be blocking the battle domes there come on and I do hope we draw into that one land there hopefully so there is the blocking, confirm, and we'll be taking 3 damage to the face going down to 13. Okay. There we are. Now, ooh, another Dauntless Room. We can play Double River Marshal. That's not gonna do us any good though, I think. Yep. Well, you know what, let's just do it. We need the blockers for now. And I think they do provide quite decent blockers here. We'll play heal its pilgrim next turn. Gotta deal with the threat that we are facing right now rather than later. And our opponent has only one card in hand right now, so block, block. If he swings with this, I'll block most likely with the heal its pilgrim. I'll block his uh, grave digger. Okay, he swings with all. Oh, just that. And okay, he's keeping gnomes back. That's very good because I didn't want him to swing with this. So I block this and I block this. And then our opponent will be faced with the choice between killing this or this. I hope he kills the heal its pilgrim, of course. Okay, two damage. Who is it going to? Heal its pilgrim if he's smart. Come on. Ooh, this Heliot's Pilgrim? Okay. I mean, Dauntless Marshal. Never mind, so Heliot Pilgrim su survives. That's fine. That just means he won't be able to swing with Bottle Gnomes next turn. We've got Flashback Marauder. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Choices, choices. Well, let's just get Heliot's Pilgrim out first. Get the flying. I don't really feel like sacrificing Healing's Pilgrim just yet, so let's get Nimbus Wings. Here's the thing, I wanna draw into just one island, play Fairy Miscreant, and then play Fleshback Marauder and sacrifice Fairy Miscreant. I think that's a better choice. And then maybe we can... Yeah, let's skip the attack. And afterwards maybe we can make our uh, Fairy Miscreant into... I mean Fleshback Marauder into Flying Necromantic Thirst Creature. Okay, so currently 13 and 12. There we go. Just one damage, can't do anything about it really. Okay. Mm -hmm. We draw into Nimbus Wings. Well, that's fine. Let's attach it here. And let's attach it here. Okay. 
let's swing with both I want to make sure our opponent swings with both too so then this way what will end up happening is we can ensure that our opponent swings he will have no blockers and I can use necromantic terrors to attach it to one of the creatures and uh, let's see who will we get back I think it's not a bad idea to get the swift wound back anyways our opponent's using telling time here digging for something not sure what it is he found oh Okay, that was a land maybe. Okay, so now let's hope he swings with both. Oh, damn it, he does not. Well, that's fine, I'll use Flashback Marauder. Force him to sacrifice Bottle Gnomes at least. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, never mind, I'm not using that, so let's attach it here. Let's swing with both. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, jeez. Okay then. Well, still doing two damage to your opponent's face here. There we go. I don't know if he'll have more responses. I'm going to use Necromantic Thirst to heal its pilgrim again. Let's see. Oh no, he has a response now. And a Merc Lurker, so he'll be gaining life very, very quickly here. It's a very bizarre deck the opponent has here, I gotta say. Very, very bizarre deck, and he's just, yeah, level 3. Okay. So, there we go. Now. Let's see, I probably will want to play Flashback Marauder then. Still haven't drawn into those lands. Okay, he's reading what the card says. There we go. So I'll sacrifice Flashback Marauder. Our opponent has to sacrifice something. Bottle Gnomes. He could have... Oh, that was silly. Okay, I guess maybe he didn't understand how it works. Oh boy. I think we're dead, guys. Really need to draw into that land here. Really, really need to. Okay. Giving life gain to whom? One of them. Doesn't matter. I'm going to block one of them, but I think I'll still end up taking the damage, unfortunately. Okay, so this gets a life gain. That's okay, I'll just block the Dark Sleep Drake. Okay. Timir Guildgate. A bit too late, I think, so let's put the Necromantic Thirst here. And next turn we're dead. Okay, sandwich time. Man, I'm really sorry. I think I'll let your deck down a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, this is how it played out. I'm going to try to do a variation on your deck. You've explained to me what your main cards here are, so we'll definitely do that. And uh, we'll go from there, see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any suggestions, please, please, just let me know, and I'll be very happy to do your deck. If you don't have a suggestion, you can let me at least know which combination of cards you'd like to see, and I'll try to do them. And anyways, guys, thank you for much, so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next episodes. Bye!